Hi guys, welcome back, it's Crystal. So today I have a review on some products and I will have a little demo of all of them at the end of this video. These are all products that were sent to me from a company called BB Cosmetic and they are basically a Korean based like global retailer. So they do have a branch in the United States in California, which is cool, but they also sell products on eBay, Amazon, and on their own bbcosmetic.com website. So I will link the website down below. They were kind enough to allow me to select some products to review for you guys, and I picked some products that I've heard great things about. A lot of them are from Touch in Soul, which you guys are probably familiar with that brand. The first product here is a primer from Touch and Soul. It is the No Problem Primer. It's a smooth and pore covering primer. And I've been using this quite a bit. I always hear great things about Korean based like cosmetics and skincare products. So I was really excited to be able to try these out. So you can purchase all of these products on Amazon. I will link them below. So this has really good ratings. It has 48 reviews on Amazon and it has four and a half stars and it retails for $18 and 30 cents and it is part of Amazon Prime. So this is the packaging. It's just in a nice frosted bottle. You can see I've been using it and I really, really like it. It is very smooth on the skin. It just makes my skin feel nice and smooth and soft. Gives it a nice even texture. It kind of helps with my um, texture a little bit and my pores. I wouldn't say it's the most pore filling primer, but it definitely kind of smooths the pores over, which I really like about it. And I just feel like it really sits nicely under my liquid foundation. So I've been really enjoying this. I've heard Kathleen Lights rave about it and I've heard other people talk about it. So if you heard good things about this, it is truly a good primer. The next product is also from Touch and Soul. It's the Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. So it's a little double ended eyeshadow as a cream and then like a pigment on the other end. So this is also on Amazon. It retails for $21.98. It's also part of Amazon Prime. And I got shade number three in Thalia. They have a total of 10 shades. So I got Thalia, it's like a lighter color. I thought I would wear this one the most. So this end is the cream and it has this little doe foot applicator that's a little bit kind of angled back and I use this directly on my eyes. I usually like to apply it right in the center of the lid and it's very easy to blend. It's very pigmented, as you can see here. So that's like blended out and this is kind of just on its own right there. Really, really creamy, but once it dries, it does not budge. It is budge proof on my eyes anyway, but really pretty nice reflective color. And then on this end over here, you have the pigment. The applicator on here is not my favorite. It's kind of similar. It just doesn't have the fuzzies on it. And I would recommend when you use this product to actually do your face makeup last because this pigment will kind of give you fallout all over the face. And if you already have your foundation on, it's really hard to get the pigment glitters off of your face. So I would definitely recommend doing your eye makeup first and then putting on your face makeup. So I made the mistake several times of going in with my foundation. It's just my like routine and my habit to put foundation on, do my face makeup and then my eyes. Well, I had like fallout all over my face and then it was hard to get off. So I would just recommend doing your eyes first if you use this product. And I also don't like to use a little spatula that it comes with. I actually prefer to like kind of scoop it out onto my hand with the spatula that it comes with. And then from there, I use my finger. Let's see. So there's the pigment right there. And then from there, so I'll just get my finger and dab it right over the cream shadow. And if I don't wanna do it that way, I like to take a brush and do it or even apply the pigment wet over the cream shadow. And it will just intensify the look there's the pigment kind of blended out like this, but it looks, it's pretty sheer once you blend it out, but it's very like sparkly. It's really, really pretty. You will see in the demo, I'll just kind of add a little bit right there in the middle of my lid here. It just gives every eye look a little pop. So I really like this. I just don't like the application of the pigment. I feel like all pigments though are very messy. So. It's, it's definitely workable. I just prefer not to use it with the actual applicator. I actually like to dispense it out first onto my hand and then like dab it with my fingers or go on with the brush. So 
yeah, very pretty eye product. I really, really like that. So when these first came out, I had a subscriber actually recommend I try these because they know that I like shimmery, sparkly, metallic eyes. So they actually were recommended I try one and I had never tried one before. So I was really excited that I got to try that out. And then the next product that I picked out is the Metalist Liquid Foil Lipstick Duo. This is the packaging that it comes in here. And same packaging as the eye product. Similar packaging. So you have a metallic liquid lipstick on one end and then you have like a glossy metallic um, product on the other side. So these are also on Amazon, part of Prime, and they retail for $19.98. This is also by Touch and Soul, by the way. I'm sure you figured that out already. So this color that I picked is not the most wearable for me. It's kind of like a bronzy copper. It's very, very pretty. And I did wear it in a previous video, but it's not something I would wear on an everyday basis, if you know what I mean. I should have picked something like a little more color suited for me, maybe like a little bit lighter and I don't know, there's different colors. There's a total of seven of these, but the one I picked is not the one I would wear frequently. So you can see that's the metallic lipstick there. This is the doe foot applicator. It's very easy to apply, very pigmented and opaque, very comfortable on the lips. Um, I really like that formula. And the gloss side, same color, maybe a little bit lighter, and it has like little shimmers in it. Now, they're hardly detectable on the lips. I would say that I feel the shimmer maybe a tad bit on the lips, but nothing uncomfortable. So that is what it looks like over here. This is the gloss. So it's nice because you can wear these individually or you can pair them together or you can wear them with other products. But it looks really pretty if you put the liquid lipstick on first and then if you put the gloss just in the center of the lip, it just gives a nice little ump to the lips. I really like that combo. So very, very pretty just not something I would wear frequently. So the last product that I received, these are all ones that I picked out on my own. They had a list of products that I could pick from and these are all products that I wanted to try. So this is the Yada Be My Cushion foundation. And they only had two shades of this, which is the downfall of this product. I got the shade Light Beige number 21. Again, it's a Korean based product. This retails on Amazon for $19.90. You get, oh yeah, here it is, 15 grams or 0.52 ounces. I think that's pretty standard for like a cushion foundation. So I think the packaging is super girly and cute. And again, it has one of these little puffs like all cushion foundations do. I never use these, honestly. And then it has this little door to see the product there. So I think in the demo, the one that I'm going to insert, I filmed it quite a while ago. Um, I think it was like the first or second time I was using these products. This cushion foundation is far too light for me. You will see that once I put it on my entire face, I look like a ghost, but I do like the product and I do like um, the coverage. It is, let me read to you what it says on Amazon. So it is the Yada Be My Cushion 15 grams SPF 50 plus cushion foundation, long lasting foundation. Yeah, it says SPF 50. The cushion formula is able to hold moisture and nutrients for moisture boost to strengthen skin immunity. Uh, recommended for girls who want long lasting, powerful coverage all day using cushion only and girls who want all day moisturizing. So it's supposed to be like moisturizing and full coverage. Um, and it has some, it has four natural extracts for healthy skin. And I will just leave the link to it down below. You can read up on that, but um, so I definitely think it has good coverage. It's just the shade is way too light for me. So I, since that video, haven't used it all over my face because it's just too light for me. So what I've been doing is using it under my eyes as like a concealer and to highlight because it is pretty light where it does highlight the under eyes and like the other points of my face that I like to highlight. And it definitely feels hydrating on the skin. It has a nice, I would say like, satin finish. It's not matte and it's not overly dewy, but you can see there like that's how light it is. And the undertone is, I would say a little bit too pink for me, but I have been making it work for 
highlighting. So I definitely will continue to use it, but like I said, they only have two shades, so that's the only downfall. I think the shade up from this is definitely probably a little bit darker. It's natural beige, and so hopefully that one would be a little darker, but again, only two shades, not the best color options. So thank you so much to BB Cosmetics for sending these for review. I am truly enjoying them. My two favorites are definitely the primer and the eye duo. I also really like the lip duo, but... I would prefer it to be a more wearable color for me. So I picked the color out, that was my fault. <laughs> but they do have some other colors. They have a total of seven for the lips. So thank you so much. I love you guys, have a great day, bye. All right guys, so now for the mini tutorial. So I'm taking the No Pore Blum Primer from Touch and Soul and I'm just putting that in the middle section of my face and kind of spreading it outwards. And I love this primer. It just really makes the skin nice and smooth as you can see. So then next I'm gonna take the Be My Cushion from Miata and I'm actually gonna mix it with my L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation because the L'Oreal Lumi that I have in W3 is a little bit too dark and then the Yada is way too light as you guys saw in a previous clip. So I decided to kind of mix them together and they work out perfectly. I really love the finish of them together and the Yada on its own, it gives a nice like natural finish I would say it's maybe slightly dewy and it has good coverage. I wouldn't say it's like totally full, full coverage, but it's medium and it is buildable. So I do like the coverage of it. And I'm just blending this out with my Flower Beauty Complexion Sponge. And then I'm taking this Essence Eye Heart Intensifying Eye Color Base. I really love this to prime my eyelids. It just kind of cancels out any discoloration. And then I'm gonna take the Meet Matte Adore palette and I'm gonna take Matte Bernard, just a nice warm crease color, love this palette. So I'm just blending that into the crease. We're gonna do a very, very simple eye look today. I'm just gonna use this palette along with the Touch and Soul Metalist Eyeshadow Duo, Glitter Duo, and that will be it, it's super simple. So I'm just blending that warm shade into the crease just to give a little definition when I apply the glitter. And then I'm gonna go in with the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take the cream side and I'm just going to use the applicator and apply it directly onto my eyelid. It's very, very easy to blend out. I would recommend maybe doing one at, eye at a time. That's what I did in this little mini tutorial. I have done it where I've done both eyes, like applied the cream on both eyes and then put the glitter on and it was fine, but I like with creams to do one side at a time. So I just took the other end with the glitter, applied it to the back of my hand, and then just took a flat shader brush and packed it on to the cream shadow. And like I mentioned before, it's better if you use this product prior to doing your face makeup because I did get some fallout on my face and sometimes it's a little bit hard to wipe away. So I, I'm just doing the other eye now. I'm just kind of blending the cream eyeshadow out with the brush. And then again, I'll just tap the glitter over the cream shadow with the brush. And I just really like these types of looks. They're very simple. Just put like a nice, crease color in and then just go in with a very nice sparkly color on the lid like a light shade it just looks so gorgeous and the trash man's coming by so I hope you can't hear it so from the palette I'm going to take Matt Williams it's just a little bit of a deeper brown I would say a media to medium toned brown and I'm just going to apply that on the outer corner of my eye run it through the crease just slightly I just want to give it a little bit more definition all right, so I'm gonna take Matte Boroski from the Meet Matte Adore palette. I'm gonna take an angled eyeshadow brush, eyeliner, eyebrow brush, and I'm just gonna run that shadow across my upper lash line as eyeliner. Just wanted to do a little pop of color on the lid with this look, and I really like the way that it turned out. So I kind of just dab the shadow. If you kind of run it across the eyelid, then you're going to get a little bit of fallout with that glitter. So I would recommend kind of patting it and then I started to kind of blend a little bit. So I'm going to take the kind of cream color from the palette. I don't remember the name. I kind of didn't see it, but I'm just going to run that on my brow bone just to highlight. Then I'm going to take the darker brown from the palette and run that on my lower lash line. 
All right, I'm gonna take my Essence The False Lashes Mascara, one of my all-time favorites. Gives nice length and volume. I'm going to run that through my upper and lower lashes. And then I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. I'm gonna take the two shades, the two lighter shades, Santori and Azores. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but it's the like white and gold color. I'm gonna mix the two and apply that on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm using this brush that I got in a BoxyCharm box. It's like a, I think it's a highlighting brush, but I think I prefer it to dust away um, powder under my eyes versus highlighting with. I just wanted to test it out for highlighting. So I just mixed those two highlighters, applied it to the tops of my cheekbones and also to my chin, my nose, a little bit on my forehead, just to be a little glowy. I feel like I added a little bit too much powder over the foundations, so it took away that dew, which I did like. So I just wanted to highlight a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with the Metalist Liquid Duo. I'm gonna take the more liquid lipstick side and apply that to my lips. And then I'm gonna go in with the other side that's more of the gloss, and I'm going to apply that directly over the liquid lipstick, and you can see it makes it much more shimmery and glossy, and it's just so pretty. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and mini tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, bye.